why I couldn't be bothered to film myself this time. But it's just a short little video to uh, take you around to one or two little bits that I do in the flat uh, where I buy really, really cheap, next to nothing, little bits and bobs and uh, do my best to turn them into something that looks a little bit more gothic for my flat. Um, you can go out there and spend a lot of money on things and people will say, oh, that's really gothic. Um, but you can also do exactly this and uh, spend very little, use a little bit of imagination and it uh, sort of does a trick. At the end of the day, it does the trick. This curtain is a mix of all sorts of wicked things. Uh, two curtains hanging at the side. Um, the little uh, bits there that swirl to either side. Uh, um, a woman's scarf with black tassels. The bit in the middle is a uh, material with a skull and crossbones. That's bit in there nice. Then in the window just different pieces of uh, netting, blah de blah de blah, um, tied together with black ribbon and such. And that is going to have uh, oh, maybe two or three more layers of netting there, so it, it gets a little bit more dense. But that's the sort of thing I do with the curtains. Um, along the top, if you can see through that, a set of candles um, got from charity shops their old uh, Christmas decorations but they just go nice up there and if I can come along here and we see behind current uh, ends of the curtains I use the hang Things as like ropes or little bells, bells on there. They work when you buy them. They're for totally some other reason, but that's what I bought them for. So yeah, that's just using bits and bobs to knock up a, a curtain. But you may notice around mine. Um, I have pictures on the wall but they never stay pictures for very long they uh, re really are good paintings uh, that one in the background but I tend to <laughs> add stuff to the, the painting so if I come back a little bit you can see there's a clock on there there's a little coffin that was a, a sweet box I believe I just put a cross on painted up everything um, one or two bits there that means something to me. Uh, the very first uh, taxidermy crow that I bought that was specially made for me to look like the, the crow in uh, the film, the symbol of the crow. Little bats, um, frog, froggy, that little star-like thing, you can put a tea light behind it and it, it glows. Um, yeah, so eventually, uh, painting will become something totally different and there at the, the bottom is uh, the two books um, a little shelf that I made it's I don't know what they're called but the two little uh, like L shaped brackets that I uh, screwed onto there onto the painting and then those books go on to them and uh, they're sort of screwed together so they won't come flying off but it makes a nice little uh, floating shelf of books um, with one or two bits on the top that's uh, uh, a feather that's uh, very special to me that uh, a friend sent there's a lot of meaning to it um, some sage which brings back some memories because the big bunch that was in I flipping <laughs> I made so much smoke I nearly flipping choked myself so I stick to cones blow burning sage but yeah that's uh, <laughs> that's one one thing that I I revamp it was a, a brand new original painting and I, I believe it's a one-off but 
it's definitely a one-off now and another one-off uh, painting of mine and uh, well, well it isn't mine I didn't actually paint it but as you can see it ends up with uh, um, more stuff added to it there's the uh, um, raggedy bit of material um, that guitar is actually an electric guitar uh, but it sits there that's its own for now um, one or two little bits that I got around but it, it just makes them a little bit more interesting than just putting the old picture on the wall other things I get I get old uh, picture frames and I I do them up a little bit and add ribbons and feathers and stick things inside that mean a lot to me uh, candles I, I buy lots of candles uh, they're usually just for show but uh, I try and doctor them up a little bit uh, that one there is just painted with uh, black acrylic paint a uh, little card um, bat uh, neck whatever it is um, the back there Jack again that was painted with uh, black and white acrylic paints uh, it, I, sh I won't ever use that candle where it will go anywhere near Jack it stay like that other candles I uh, buy second hand uh, charity shops and that they, they very often have just one earring or sometimes they have a, a couple but you get them for pence really they're just getting rid of them um, and I stick them round about that I wait in in candles just to give the candle a totally different uh, look to it uh, so there's a one there there's different type you get these big dangly earrings uh, I think that was just one um, so you can really um, doctor them up so yeah, that's uh, some of the bits and bobs that I, I do uh, the skeletons just impale themselves on there forever the doors I can't I can't just leave them as they are that's uh, I just found it in a shop one day uh, a big long piece of skull curtain so onto the door it went we've added bits uh, the um, whatever you call it parasol there uh, a friend of mine gave it to me I actually can't remember whether it was an old family thing or what but if I undo it it, it would it would really look shabby chic it's it's all tattying in bits um, which would look really good and then silly things like there the, the pink is a, a out of a charity shop it was a, a riding crop I think but I thought oh, but heck, why not I'll stick it in mine it'll make people talk they're bound to think that we're into sort of strange things which I know probably lots of you are but there you go um, on the door um, you have to sort of duck a little bit I can't not hang things <laughs> on the doors there's little uh, tea lights uh, there's me um, spider web um, lots of different bits hanging um, wind chime so yeah you know as, as you go through the door you these are meant to like that it's meant to be you, you sort of hit it with your shoulders and you get loads of tinkling so yeah even the doors uh, it's just bits of buy and I I stick them there to just decorate it up a little bit yeah we've got um, puppets because like with dolls and everything I know that lots of people it puts a flipping wind up them so I like them uh, one on the left Wurzel Gummidge uh, that was bought as a puppet the the doll on the right um, uh, I, I'd seen these dolls around for years but lots of people said oh, I really don't like them 
and it didn't look that bad either. I put the blood on it, uh, the strings, um, doctored its face up and its hands, so it looked a little bit more um, busy, isn't it? And uh, if we look up, there's a loads of light, um, what you call them, lilies um, going up the corner, and you see the. The tree that was actually painted with black uh, acrylic paint. I started it, got about six inches, and thought, please, please let this flipping work. Can't be bothered to have to redo that lot again. And it comes along and comes down onto that painting. Nettie and I use just about everywhere on this big mirror. There's netting that goes across. I suppose it sort of gives it the old Victorian morning look. Um, again, floral bits. The the flowers, uh, which are made of uh, wood, the petals, I believe, uh, wood shavings or something. There were a decor in a in a shop. Uh, one Halloween, no, is it Halloween? Christmas time, and. Uh, just went in and said when when it's all over any chance I can buy them and uh, they went in the window and got them out for me um, more netting over here um, which is on this clock um, it needs a battery in the, the pendulum at the bottom I usually have that going but the, the clock usually stays at 12 o'clock and I call it the 12 o'clock clock and uh, again there's some more lace over there uh, come round here again there's more netting on this picture that was a picture uh, before it had the clown and everything put on it and then that was decorated with a wooden uh, jointed snakes and again anything that comes along um, and it was really the, the painting really is it's a pink colour with white ro uh, roses um, not roses tulips um, and all the blood is what I splattered on there it was sort of Halloween blood so you could theoretically take it off if you wanted but it will stay there again round the door more lace and when we get to the top i can just leave that bare again so there's tea lights uh, little bags of uh, herbs and uh, jewels on the woodwork uh, candle holders or put incense cones in it lanterns little candelabra blah -de blah -de blah that sort of let you know when the door opens and then this side um, the stringy bit was a um, a door curtain but it just stays like that and there you'll see all different pendants that's hanging on there that I bought from charity shops and I'll just sling them up there so that's coming down um, past my little clock which is a key cabinet actually with no keys in it. Um, this big, um, oh, I can't remember what you call them, um, tassel, uh, that's an actual uh, curtain tie back, but I, I sort of made it into one long thing to hang there. The other one is uh, hanging in the bathroom uh, to turn the light on. Um, yeah, so that that curtain, the stringy bits come down, down to the little witch, and then it's tied there where the the bulk of it ends. It's tied into a a thinner strip, comes down like that, and onto the bottom of that wall candle. Dried 
roses. So yeah, come up here again, mirror decorate with feathers and ribbons and whatever. So they're just normal everyday things that I just try and goff up a little bit and um, do it on the cheap really, because I'm a cheap little bugger. If we come out over here, um, this is a paint a painting I had, um, or oh, a club had it a long time, lots of years ago, and it fell off the wall. They never put it back up again. So it was going in the bin, and I took it off the rands, and I believe it's worth a few bob. Uh, again, that's um, got the lace on it, uh, and the mirror. Again. I just liked it and it's it's sort of decorated with ribbons and more ribbons and wood crosses and and that uh, when I bought it I decided it was going to have a um, a legend behind it and uh, I'm not going to go into it all but it's it's supposed to be haunted and uh, Tell people just don't look into into the mirror for too long because if you do, uh, you'll see somebody. You'll see this woman behind you looking. You'll either see her behind you looking over your shoulder, or uh, you'll see her face imprint in your face. Now I don't bloody look in there too long myself, just in case I kick it off. But there you go. So yeah, other bits that I use just to. Go for the place. Yeah, you might notice that uh, that's, a, that's a really nice tall vase, but the two um, bits that adorn it to decorate it up a little bit are just uh, that one's a very short one and one's a long one. Um, necklaces that I've got off stalls or charity shops, uh, they're probably 50 pence each or something, but they they make it look a lot nicer and you can do it with lots of different vases that have got that sort of neck on that you can um, add bits of jewellery to so it's cheap but it uh, makes it look good and there you have it folks uh, go out find cheap little bits and bobs have a go at it uh, see what you come up with yourself uh, have fun, don't do anything I wouldn't do, <laughs> not a lot.